Aloha, welcome to Cluster B Free Karen. If you find something of value, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're not an already a subscriber. And thank you to those of you who are and those who will become. Older Narcissists and Valentine's Day. The early Hoovers are already starting. They're doing heat checks by sending other people, having friends, family, co-workers, business partners, check on your mood. They're having people speak up for them, chatting you up, getting ready for seeing if they can take you out. And most of all, and when I say take you out, bring you out to some sort of event and look good with you on their side on Valentine's Day. Now here's the deal. Older narcissists are more bitter, more petty, more childish, just downright more evil than when they were younger. When they hit their 50s and 60s and 70s, they are often just as lustful. The men may need to use that little blue pill. Women may need to use AIDS to increase their ability to function in sexual activities. But they are all trolling for supply. Sexual content, looking good with a handsome or beautiful partner at an event, corporate events, family events. They will chat up prior supply, especially wives and husbands, because many of them know that you're still trauma bonded. You're still looking to have a partner, especially older in age. No one wants to be, let me re rephrase that. Most people, many people want a partner in their senior years. Some of us don't. Some of us have been through so much abuse, we need to spend this time getting back close to God and healing ourselves from the physical and mental toils. But it doesn't matter. The older narcissists are trolling for supply. They're checking early now. They're giving you phone calls. Oh, I just want to see how you're doing. Uh, I was just thinking about you, uh, the spiritual ones. I had a dream about you and the Holy Spirit told me to check on you. They'll come up with fake epiphanies. I understand now. I get it. I'm older. I'm wiser now. Some of them, by the way, have health difficulties and know that they're going to have problems in the future and they need you to be that good supply. You know how you always kept a roof over their heads, food on the table, laundry done providing sexual satisfaction, whether it's male or female. Older narcissists are trolling for that Valentine's supply, Valentine's Day supply, and many of them want to continue on because they're running out of supply. It's harder to get now. They can't function the way they used to. Now, they're not rich so that they can attract supply with their funds. They need to often go back to prior people who they know, because narcissists are inherently lazy. They feel that they know you, they know what makes you tick, they know what you like, they know what you don't like. So for them, hoovering you for Valentine's Day, they feel like they've got a leg up. Now here's the aside. An older narcissist is often sought after by other narcissists, younger narcissists. Men are trying to find sugar mama to take care of their bills or housing. Women are looking for that sugar daddy to pay for the expensive hairstyles, mani Petty, pay their rent, their car note, their grocery bill, DoorDash deliveries. So don't be shocked if your older narcissist chats you up for Valentine's Day and then ghosts you when the day happens. 
Why do they ghost you? Because very often they get a better offer from a younger person. Now for them, sometimes that younger person is a narcissist just like them, looking for supply, looking for assets, looking for money, looking for status. So be wise. Remember why you left that person. Remember how they discarded you and left you in tears. Remember all the name calling and the abuse. Remember how when you got sick, they disappeared. Narcissists are famous for getting lost whenever illness happens. So with Valentine's Day coming, don't let all the commercials and the hearts and flowers and chocolate make you susceptible to an old man or woman who wants nothing more than to dominate, have an emotional punching bag, perhaps sexual satisfaction, assets, and then disappear again. Or stay with you and let you be a source of financial support, making them look good. You see, I told you she or he needed me. They will give fake epiphanies, fake religious events. I see the light now. The Lord has shown me. The religious narcissist will pull that Bible out in a minute and use it on you. Be safe. Understand that this person very often is a serial cheater. And when they go to bed with you, you're playing Russian roulette with three bullets in the gun. Be safe. Keep healing. Don't provide for them supply. Keep you to yourself, your friends, your new people that you've met in support groups for narcissistic abuse, and live a better life. An old narcissist is just a pain every way there is possible. I'm a life coach. Let me help you go from survivor to thriver. www.clusterbefreekaren.com